AI has a built-in self-destruct button and it's keeping us from developing truly human-like artificial intelligence. Today, we're gonna talk about three reinforcement learning algorithms that each simulate one aspect of human thought. And if you use all three of them together, your AI will explode. This is one of the major obstacles that's standing in the way of us developing artificial general intelligence. We call it the deadly triad. All right, let's talk about how AI is going to get murdered. First up on our AI murder board is off policy learning. So off policy learning is important because it increases the flexibility of your algorithm. It allows us to apply this algorithm to more real life scenarios. Lab experiments are usually conducted under perfect conditions. So it's hard to tell whether or not they're going to work in reality, especially in the fields of robotics and machine learning. Let's think about driverless cars for a moment. You wouldn't want just any AI controlling your Tesla. You wouldn't want your AI driver to have to make risky decisions when it's still learning how to drive. Kind of like when you teach a teenager how to drive. You don't just set them loose on the freeway. You usually take them to a parking lot first. Well, off policy learning kind of enables your driverless car to learn how to drive before it actually is rolling down the open road. It's like driver's ed for an AI. Now, unlike humans, AIs cannot learn new things once they've been trained. So if you never taught the AI how to parallel park, it will never learn. Blasted woman, you parked too close. Move your car. I'm in the lines. You got a problem, go tell your mama. Okay, so if you were following me through that math part that we just did, you'll recognize that there is a mismatch between the policy that's being learned and the policy that generated the data. It's a really good approximation, but you can't go over every possible scenario. The beauty of it is each parking space is a mere one foot narrower, indistinguishable to the naked eye. It's like trying to give a teenager a book on every possible thing that they could encounter on the road during driver's ed. It's just not possible. We have to get a basic idea of what we're doing and then practice a bit with a learner's permit. That's how humans learn how to drive. And that's how machines learn how to drive with off policy learning. Once we have a license, we're pretty good at driving, but there are still things that we have to make a split second decision about that might have never come up before. Like what if a car crosses into your lane and cuts you off? But presumably if your driverless car comes with off policy learning, it'll be able to understand what it learned in driver's ed for cars and apply it to this real life scenario. Okay, so the second guy on our AI murder board is function approximation. And if you're like most people, the word function just sent rage running down your hands into your fingertips and you're ready to choke me through the computer screen. I get it. Lots of people have PTSD from middle school algebra. And now some Marge Simpson looking person on YouTube is trying to tell you that you could have approximated those functions all along. So the data that we use for generative AI is vast and multidimensional. That means you can't just make a table of values like you did for high school algebra class. Let's apply this to something that all of my viewers are probably familiar with, Minecraft. Here's a quick exercise. Go ahead and make a table of values that represents every possible way that a Minecraft world could be arranged. Every variable that goes into making a Minecraft world Put it in a table of values real quick. Come on, man, this shit's impossible. So it's not technically impossible to make a table like this, but it's a very big number of ways, right? So let's just say that it is impossible because you're not gonna be able to make the table. In a case like this, we have to approximate it. Function approximation takes this giant 
multi-dimensional fucking monster of a table and make sense of it with similar situations that have occurred before. And it can do that without having to see every single scenario first. If you're playing and you see an oak tree, you are pretty sure that you can treat that oak tree just like you could a cherry tree or an aspen tree. You don't need the game to tell you that you can cut down all sources of wood. So let's pause this game and go back to talking about driverless cars for a moment. Just like with Minecraft, there are an infinite number of scenarios that a driver can encounter on the road. And unlike Minecraft, this probably actually is an infinite number. So you cannot make a function and get an actual value if you are doing a function of infinity. So again, we will have to approximate the number. What if you're driving up I-25 in Albuquerque and you're only going 30 miles an hour over the speed limit and the road's empty except for you and this other car who insists on driving directly behind you, tailgating you, and then finally gets frustrated, passes you, and then cuts you off? And what if it's the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta and you have to go into town because you ran out of milk and somebody is equally as frustrated as you is driving through town and cuts you off? Hey man, that's okay. It's fine. Okay, so now if you're a data scientist that is working on driverless cars, you have an algorithm that uses off policy learning to make assumptions about its surroundings and function approximation to kind of create a generalization of everything else that has to do with the surroundings of the car. Let's talk about the third guy on our AI murder board, bootstrapping. Now, this is how we speed up decision-making processes in machine learning. Bootstrapping functions by allowing the algorithm to make an educated guess about the future value of something without actually having to calculate it. Basically, it helps it to make a judgment about something and make a decision before an event happens rather than waiting until the event occurs to make such a decision. This is really important for our driverless cars example. We as humans make thousands of educated guesses every day. And the AI is also going to make thousands of educated guesses every day and like us that ai is going to use what it already knows about a situation in order to make that educated guess so you're driving down the street in your driverless car and your ai driver spots a dirt bike a little ways off in the distance you know that your paths are going to cross bootstrapping helps that ai make an educated guess about when your paths are gonna cross with that dirt bike. So you don't have car versus dirt bike. That would not make a very interesting YouTube video, in my opinion. Maybe there's a bridge that the dirt bike will go under, that you will go over, and you won't have car versus dirt bike. But maybe there isn't a bridge. The AI is going to use the knowledge of its surroundings to determine whether or not there is likely to be a bridge. So if you're on a dirt road, there's probably no bridge. But if you're on pavement, there might be a bridge. All of this probably sounds very similar to how you make decisions every day, right? That's the entire point of these three algorithms. Unfortunately, when an AI uses these three algorithms together, your computer starts on fire and the end of the world happens. Okay, so your computer isn't actually going to start on fire, but it does make your AI extremely unstable and an unstable AI is usually going to break. This creates a situation where there are just way too many errors and too much risk for the AI to handle. We as humans can handle this amount of error in the equation in our brains that helps us make decisions. Computers cannot. A lot of these instabilities that occur when there are this many errors in an AI's decision-making progress are self-destructive. Here's why that happens. We as humans improve as we learn new things, but an AI cannot learn new things. Instead of improving as it learns, which is the point of 
thinking this way. That is why human beings think this way. The AI's performance just degrades until it completely fails entirely. That is why this is called the deadly triad of reinforcement learning. And it applies to almost every AI we use today, not just driverless cars. And unless we fix this issue, we will never arrive at artificial general intelligence. But the thing is there actually might be a way to fix it. And if you wanna know how to fix it, watch this video next.